Quitting my first year of college baseball was one thing, but going back to my hometown and performing in the studio ballet recital in a to-do was another. The transition was, to say the least, unexpected. It all started when I made the decision to quit the baseball team. My passion for the sport had dwindled, and I couldn't shake the feeling that I needed something different, something more. When I broke the news to my mom, she wasn't as upset as I had expected. Instead, she saw it as an opportunity for me to explore new horizons. One evening, she came to me with a peculiar suggestion. Travis, I've been thinking, she began, hesitantly. How about you try ballet? I laughed, thinking it was a joke. Ballet. Seriously, mom. Yes, seriously, she insisted. I think it could be a great way for you to find yourself. Plus, it's an excellent exercise and discipline. I was skeptical, but she persisted, so I reluctantly agreed to give it a try. The first day at the ballet studio was intimidating. The mirrors, the music, the girls in their elegant attire, it was a world away from the dusty baseball diamond. Miss Emma, the instructor, welcomed me with a warm smile. Travis, we're glad to have you here. Ballet is about grace, strength, and expression. I struggled through the initial classes, feeling clumsy and out of place. But slowly, I began to understand the beauty and challenge of ballet. It was demanding in a way that was entirely new to me. The physical rigor, the precision, the art, it started to grow on me. Then came the day Miss Emma suggested I participate in the upcoming recital. It'll be a wonderful experience for you, Travis. And you'll get to showcase your progress. Do I have to wear a tutu? I asked, feeling a knot in my stomach. Miss Emma nodded with a smile. Yes, it's part of the performance. And you'll have a special role as Sissy Tania, the ballet girl. Sissy Tania, the name made me cringe. It felt like a step too far, but my mom was thrilled. Oh, Travis, you'll be wonderful. She gushed. You'll be Sissy Tania, graceful and elegant. On the day of the recital, I stood in the hallway, dressed in a black tutu, feeling more nervous than ever. The name Sissy Tania echoed in my head, adding to my anxiety. I caught sight of some of my old friends from the baseball team, their expressions a mix of confusion and amusement. The performance began, and I took a deep breath, stepping onto the stage. The lights were blinding, and for a moment, I felt a wave of panic. But then I remembered why I was there. This was about finding a new part of myself, about embracing change and stepping out of my comfort zone. As Sissy Tania, I moved through the routine, my muscles remembering the countless hours of practice. It wasn't perfect, but it was genuine. When the performance ended, the applause was overwhelming. I spotted my mom in the audience, tears in her eyes, clapping with pride. Walking off the stage, I felt a mix of relief and exhilaration. The journey from Travis the baseball player to Sissy Tania the ballet girl had been challenging, but it had also been transformative. I realized that sometimes, stepping into a new role, even one as unexpected as this, could reveal strengths and passions you never knew you had. In that moment, I knew that quitting baseball had led me to something extraordinary. Ballet had taught me grace, discipline, and the courage to redefine myself. And for that, I was grateful. Embracing my new identity as Sissy Tania, the Sissy Girl, was a journey I never anticipated. After the recital, the applause and admiration felt like a warm embrace, validating my decision to step away from baseball and into a world of elegance and expression. However, the path ahead was filled with both challenges and unexpected joys. The days following the recital were a whirlwind. My performance had caught the attention of not just the audience but also the local ballet community. Miss Emma was thrilled and encouraged me to continue my training. You have a natural talent, Travis, she said. Or should I say, Sissy Tania. Embracing the name Sissy Tania felt strange at first, but as I continued to dance, it became a part of me. My mother was my biggest supporter. She helped me adjust from buying ballet outfits to helping me practice at home. You're doing something incredible, she would say, 
Her eyes filled with pride. School was another story. Word spread quickly about my new persona, and reactions were mixed. Some classmates were supportive, fascinated by my courage to pursue something so different. Others, however, were less kind. I faced teasing and ridicule from some of the guys who couldn't understand why I would give up baseball for ballet. But through it all, I stood firm. Ballet was my passion now, and I wasn't going to let anyone's opinion change that. I found solace in the dance studio, where I could express myself freely. The rigorous training sessions became my sanctuary, a place where I could push my limits and grow. One day, Miss Emma approached me with exciting news. Sissy Tania, I think you're ready for a solo performance, she said. There's a local competition coming up, and I believe you could do wonderfully. The idea of a solo performance was both thrilling and terrifying. I practiced tirelessly, perfecting every move, every expression. My mom was my constant cheerleader, encouraging me at every step. The day of the competition arrived, and as I stood backstage in my tutu, I felt a rush of nerves. But then, I reminded myself of how far I'd come. I took a deep breath and stepped onto the stage. The music began, and I let myself become Sissy Tania, the sissy girl who had found her true passion. The performance was a blur of grace and emotion. I poured my heart into every step, every leap. When it was over, the applause was thunderous. I had done it. I had truly embraced my new identity. Winning the competition was a bonus, but the real victory was the acceptance I felt within myself. I had found a new path, one that was uniquely mine. Sissy Tania wasn't just a name, it was a part of who I was. As I continued my journey, I faced more challenges and triumphs. There were still those who didn't understand, who mocked and jeered. But I also found a community of dancers and supporters who appreciated my courage and talent. My life as Sissy Tania, the sissy girl, was far from what I had imagined when I quit baseball. It was a life of beauty, discipline, and self-discovery. And with each performance, each practice, I grew more confident in who I was and what I could achieve. In the end, I realized that embracing my true self was the greatest victory of all.